So on the projects tab, I've got my desk configurator zip file over here. Clicking on that, you can see the form with all of my parameters that have come through from my inventor model. And the forge sample uses the large model viewer, so I can do explosions and those good things. Here I'm gonna specify a width of 900, which is too wide. 700 is the maximum. And we'll see what happens when I hit commit in a little bit. Um, I can choose to have different colors and different sizes. So we'll just set um, turquoise as our color over here. We can change the thickness of the material as well. And this updates every single panel in this design. So I'm just gonna quickly show you a quick measurement here. If we measure the top panel over here, you'll see that we have a width of 22. And that 22 corresponds with the thickness that we specify over here. If I change that to 15, when we do our update, we'll see that that'll update as well. We can then look at the um, top width over here. So the top width is showing as just about 405. And I've gone on with an angle there, but you can see it's 405 over here. So once I've done that, I can change that to say 399, a bit of a change. And from here, I can commit an update. Now this is gonna grind away in the background and it'll take a few seconds to process. Once it's done, it actually tells me that that took 17 seconds and it consumed 0.28 cloud credits. So now I can go into my model and again, I can measure the thickness of that panel. So 15 millimeters and 15 was what I specified. And I can then check the length of this top panel. And the length there, 399, is exactly what we specified. So that matches up perfectly. The other thing to mention is that that width of 700 has been corrected. You can actually see a little orange line under it and it tells me that the server changed that dimension back for me. So that's great. I get a bomb, gives me all of my bomb information. I get downloads, I can download my model, my drawing, my bomb, etc. And then when I click on the drawing tab, this updates the drawing. Now my drawing is not only updating the model, it also runs some rules. So it actually sorts out all the dimensions, spaces everything out and updates the title block to put in the correct date. So that took 10 seconds and it consumed 0.17 cloud credits. I can see my drawing over there. Now this model has a shelf that you can see there. If I click on the model, and we get rid of the shelf, so we're just gonna untick that and just show you where the shelf lives for the minute. So if we hide the door, we can see the shelf inside there. So I'm gonna remove the shelf. Okay, so that's taken 17 seconds, consumed 0.028 cloud credits. And if we hide the door now, we can see that that shelf is gone. So pop over to the drawing. Again, the drawing's gonna update. I've got some iLogic rules updating the drawing. And you know we'd expect to see an orphan dimension where the shelf has been removed, but this won't be the case. Um, so that's used just under 0.1 cloud credits. So there it is. Dimensions are all updated, everything's good. And um, the date's been corrected on the drawing as well.